take this time now to just stop everything. Minimize all distractions and prepare for the practice of Yoga Nidra. Lie down on your back with your arms and legs a comfortable distance apart. And just surrender your body to the force of gravity. Quickly scan your body, releasing those large groups of muscles in the arms and legs. The muscles of respiration in the abdomen. the muscles in your hands. Release all the muscles of your face. Surrounding your eyes and the muscles inside of your mouth. Experience the subtle point of contact between the floor and the back of your head. The floor and the right shoulder blade. The floor and the left shoulder blade. Your right elbow. Left elbow. Right hand. Left hand. the right buttock, left buttock, right calf muscle, left calf muscle, right heel, Left heel. Feel all these subtle points of contact between your body and the floor at once together. Feel the line of levity between your body and the floor. Now drop awareness of the body and bring your awareness to the easy breath.
allow each breath to flow freely and spontaneously. Have no concern if one breath is long and deep or the next is short and shallow. Merely remain a witness to the peaceful ebb and flow of each breath. Now repeat your sankalpa or your preferred positive affirmation three times silently. Withdraw your awareness from the outer world of the senses by systematically releasing each and every muscle throughout your entire body, beginning with the right hand, the right hand thumb second, third, fourth, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, the right wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, the right side of the torso, waist, hip, thigh, back of the thigh, the right kneecap, back of the knee, shin, calf muscle, ankle, Heel, sole of the right foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second, third, fourth, and fifth toe, the whole right side of the body, now the left hand the left hand thumb, second, third, fourth, 
fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, the left wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, the left side of the torso, waist, hip, thigh, back of the thigh, the left kneecap, back of the knee, left shin, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the left foot, top of the foot, the left big toe, second, third, fourth, and fifth toe. The whole left side of the body Now bring your awareness up to the crown of the head, forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the center of the eyebrows. Feel the pulse at the brow center. Right eye. Left eye. Right ear. Left ear. the nose, tip of the nose, the upper lip, lower lip, mouth, tongue, cheeks, and chin, throat, the pit of the throat, feel the pulse at the pit of the throat. right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest muscle, left chest muscle, the sternum, 
abdomen, navel, experience the reservoir of prana at the navel. Lower abdomen, the pubic bone, groin, pelvic floor. Feel the pulse gently beating at the pelvic floor, the whole right leg, whole left leg, both legs together, the whole right arm Whole left arm. Both arms together. The front side of the torso. Back side of the torso. Both the front and back sides of the body together. The shoulders, neck, and the face. The whole head, the whole body, become aware of your entire body at once. Now again, become aware of the breath. Heighten your awareness to the process of breathing in and out. Awareness to all the various muscles throughout your body which assist in the act of respiration. Total awareness to the physical act of each inhalation and exhalation.
now fix your awareness on the rhythmic flow of the breath. Observe the breath from the detached perspective of the silent witness. Observe the breath from that detached perspective of the silent witness. Enjoy the bliss flowing within the breath. Remaining aware of each inhalation and each exhalation. Continue watching the soothing rhythms of the breath. Now, mentally synchronize the mantra OM with the breath. Breathe in O and breathe out M. Mentally synchronize the mantra OM with the breath. The sound O arising with the inhalation and the sound M arising with the exhalation. The sound of Aum should be only mental.
slightly extend the duration of the mmm sound with the exhalation. So it gradually becomes twice to three times longer than the O sound. Continue synchronizing the breath with the sounds O oh and M. Mm. Continue synchronizing the breath with the sounds O oh and M mm, as you bring your focus down to the root chakra, Muladhara. With the sound O, oh, feel the inhalation passing straight up through the pelvic floor, piercing all the chakras, Muladhara, Swadhisthan, Manipura, Anahat, Vishuddhi, Agya, Bindu, and the crown chakra, Sahasrar. With the exhalation, feel the sound mmm descending back down the spine from Sahasrar to Bindu, Agya, Vishuddhi, Anahat, Manipura, Swadhisthan, and Muladhara. Continue breathing O oh, in from Muladhara through Sashumna to Sahasrara and breathing M mm, back down Sashumna to Muladhara.
now bring your attention to the mental space in front of your closed eyes. Continue with the mental repetition of OM, but switch your awareness away from the breath to only the sound of the mantra reverberating within your consciousness. Now bring your awareness up from the brow center to the top of the back of the head, the physical location of Bindu Visarga, and go straight up to the top of the crown of the head and feel a slight tugging sensation, pulling your head and body slightly upward. With awareness focused at the point on the top of the head, See a beautiful thousand-petaled lotus with self-effulgent indigo light radiating outwards and thousands of lotus petals blossoming in every direction around you. With awareness focused at the thousand-petaled lotus continually blossoming on the top of your head, you can easily remain seated 
in that perspective of your higher self, that silent witness consciousness. Now resting in your essential nature as pure consciousness, completely independent from all thoughts of the mind and all actions of the body. completely independent from the senses and the ever-changing outer world around you. An eternally blossoming thousand-petaled lotus emanating self-born bliss. Identify as that inner self immortal, whole, and perfectly content. Now see a vision of your inner self as that inner divinity personified as the supreme goddess Tripura Sundari, that deity beyond the three states of consciousness. You can now experience yourself as that inner knower, the seat of pure awareness, that inner intelligence beyond the conscious, subconscious, and unconscious mind. Identify yourself with that inner divinity, that 
beautiful Devi. She has four arms and hands holding a noose, goad, a bow made from sugar cane, and five arrows made of flowers. She bathes the whole universe in the ecstatic red hue of the early morning sunrise. Her shining locks of hair naturally emit the fragrance of flowers and her crown shines with gems. Her eyes move like fish in the waves of beauty flowing from her face. Her shapely nose is adorned with a jewel, which is more lustrous than a bright star in the night sky. She is radiant and charming with flowers over her ears and the sun and moon as her earrings. Her cheeks are more fair than the mirror-like faces of a ruby. Her lips outshine the redness of coral. Her speech is more melodious than the vena of Saraswati. The radiance of her smile is like a flowing river in which her consort Maheshvara plays. Her neck is adorned with the Mangal Sutra and her arms are decked with golden bangles. She wears a necklace of pearls across her graceful neck with a pendant inlaid with jewels. Her slender abdomen has three vertical lines to support the immense weight of her large breasts. She shines with rose-tinted cloth worn over her elegant waist 
and is adorned with a girdle having many tiny bells set with precious stones. The beauty and smoothness of her thighs is known only to her consort, Shiva, known as the conqueror of lust, Kameshvara. Her calf muscles resemble Cupid's quiver of arrows. Her full ankles are decorated with anklets of tiny bells. The arch of her feet rival the shapeliness and beauty of the back of a tortoise. Her feet are more beautiful than the lotus flower. Even the illumining splendor of her toenails dispels the darkness of ignorance in those prostrating at her feet. Her gait is slow and gentle like that of a swan. She is a treasure house of divine beauty. Her radiant skin is red hued like the early morning rays of sun. Her limbs are well proportioned, decorated with divine ornaments. She is seated on the lap of Shiva, whose power she is as that creative Shakti governing the cycles of motion, energy, and time. Only through her can Shiva know himself. Experience yourself now, residing in the center hub of all creation as the supreme ecstasy of Devi, united in total intimacy with her consort, Lord Shiva.
The look in Davy's eyes are full of grace as she grants all prayers and desires for both spiritual and material fulfillment. Allow yourself to both see and feel this vision of the inner divinity for a few moments. We will now enjoy five minutes of silence. Continue identifying with that inner divinity whom resides within the core of your heart. If you should find that your focus has strayed from the practice, bring your awareness back to the body, the breath, and again remain seated in the perspective of the silent witness within that most beautiful inner self beyond the three states of consciousness. Five minutes of silence begins now.
now. Again, repeat your sankalpa three times silently. Now turn your awareness outwards to the world around you. Extrovert your awareness to the senses and their respective objects of perception. Listen to the sounds in your environment. The air on your skin, visualize your body lying on the floor in Shavasan. See the four walls of the room you're lying in. The ceiling and floor. When you're ready, begin by just moving a single finger at first. Then stretch and move your body, opening your eyes to end this session. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti